Hey everyone, welcome to our weekly Unreal Engine Twitch live stream. Today I'm here with Epic founder and CEO Tim Sweeney Hello. and general manager Ray Davis. Hello again. You guys have probably seen around on the Twitch before. Yes. Um, if you haven't seen it so far <laughs> this morning, we released a new, um, a new program that Epic's kicking off called Unreal Dev Grants. Uh, so Shelly, if you can hop over to the monitor real quick, I'll show the site. So yeah, <coughs> Unreal Dev Grants is essentially, let me find my mouse, there we go. Unreal Dev Grants is a, is a fund, a development fund, to uh, give financial grants out to people making really awesome stuff in the engine. Um, so the awards are going to range from, what, 5000 to to 50000 yep. with kind of no strings attached. So it's really just us you know, providing that to you guys w without anything in return. So uh, you guys get to keep the, the IP, publish however you want, uh, and you can use them you know, without any restrictions or obligations to us. Yep. Um, so there's a little bit more information on here too. Uh, where you can see kind of how to apply for these grants. They're, they're open to, you know, we've got an open submission here to j just anybody. Um, you can actually submit your own project, or if you find something cool that you think, hey, I want to submit that for an Unreal grant, you know, you can just sign up, sign their project up for them mm -hmm. um, via the, the website, the Unreal Dev Grants at EpicGames.com alias. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have Tim chat about it with us real quick, um, and then afterwards we'll hop into our regular set of news, community spotlight, and stuff like that. Ray and I got a couple updates about you know, where we're heading. Four seven some GDC, some, some new stuff for four late seven breaking GDC. Stuff. But yeah, I, I, I'd love to hear you know from Tim's point of view, sort of what was was the original inspiration I think for for a program like this. Well, you know, all along the goal with the Unreal Engine has been to help developers succeed and making games or any sort of project. Um, at the most basic level, that starts with the making the full code and the tools available so people can create stuff. But um, you know, over the years, uh, the industry has really grown in a lot of ways. And uh, we find now that we, we want to do a lot more. Um, you know, so for example, we have the Unreal Engine Marketplace right. to help hook content creators up with game developers um, to, you know, to have an ecosystem going there for them. Um, we have a lot of educational resources, but one thing we've been hearing really consistently from developers um, is that it's really hard to go from the point of having a great idea, getting it up to a working prototype, to actually getting to the next stage. Um, for really small teams, the next stage is getting to a shipping game um, that's able to uh, sell. Mm -hmm. um, and that often requires marketing or other financial expenses, or it requires spending some money um, buying content or working with uh, other developers who, who require payment. Um, it just about anything at some point, uh, you know, when you're building a game business requires spending some money. Um, you know, it was the same thing when I was a, a developer back <laughs> in 1991 when How I started Epic. How long ago Epic. was that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm old. Let's summarize <laughs> it that way. Uh, but, you know, I, uh, you know, in launching my first game, ZZT, uh, I needed to send out a whole lot of letters advertising the game uh, to, to potential customers, um, had to dial into bulletin boards all around the country because we didn't have the internet. You actually had to <laughs> make long distance phone calls yep. uh, to uh, get software distributed. Um, mm -hmm. And so it took about $3,000 and I earned that money by uh, mowing my neighbor's lawns uh, <laughs> for a period of two years. Yeah. Um, nice. the, the whole purpose of the Unreal Dev Grants program is to uh, help developers um, make that next big step uh, where financial resources are required. Yeah. Um, and so whether you're an indie who needs some assistance to ship your game or you're a bigger team um, who's trying to get to the point of you know, going from a working prototype to getting crowd fund crowdfunding with a Kickstarter campaign, which yeah. often requires a lot of expense yeah. just yeah. to start. Yeah. Recording your videos, your promotional stuff, yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things just in like the, the PR marketing biz side, right, as an indie developer especially, <laughs> that you, m you may not have either the, the know-how or skills or the availability to get yourself to yeah. those places, right? That little extra bump might be yeah. um, something that can really help you get your game on the map. Yeah, so wherever uh, something, you know, that next step is required, uh, this program's here to, to help the community. Um, and uh, it's open to a lot of different types of projects. Um, mm -hmm. Games for any platforms uh, from developers anywhere in the world um, are eligible. And, you know, we'll also consider projects that are not doesn't directly have to be Unreal a game. projects, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but are built oh, around so Unreal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A website or a major piece of content that's going to be shared <laughs> or a code contribution. Um, yeah. You know, just about anything is uh, anything is open, um, and uh, we're also uh, you know, really uh, 
we've achieved a lot of success with the Unreal Engine over the years. You know, a lot of AAA developers are using it to make major games, um, mm -hmm. and now a lot of uh, new developers have gotten in over the past year since we made it available um, through this, you know, really low barrier to entry <laughs> subscription yep. model. Yep. Um, we wanted to take this opportunity to, you know, share back with the community um, some of our success. Yeah, I was going to say, like, one of the things that continuously throughout the year, we've always been surprised by, or really just inspired by some of the cool things that people in the community are doing that we had no idea about, yeah. right? Um, and and even th every time we do something like this, like when we did the Unreal, uh, the GDC submission process. That was just nuts. All of a sudden, <laughs> there were all kinds of amazing yeah. projects I had no idea were out there. Um, and for me, I'm excited. This is another cool way that we can just, like, help people out, you know, and, and call out the attention to these people doing really cool stuff. Yeah, you know? by the way, on that real quick with GDC submission, I just want to reiterate how difficult of a process it was <laughs> to actually pare yeah. that down because we had just, it was just like overwhelmingly, ins like overwhelmingly inspired by all the incredible yeah. things that the, the community is making. And, you know, we've got a lot of insight to a lot of it, but there's even more, yeah, yeah. more out there that we, we've never seen before. And well. I think part of that, too, is being able to nominate a project that we don't necessarily have on yeah. our radar yet um, is, you know, is super awesome. We, like, yeah. we, we want to see awesome things that people are creating. Yeah, yeah, totally. I, I think that's one of the, the coolest things is, like, if you see anybody or know somebody, maybe they're too humble or too, they're not quite there yet themselves, feel free to send them our way, right? You know, yeah. I think, I, I love those kind of surprises. Like, what was it, the snowy scene from Kula? Just yeah. out of nowhere, oh my god, Dude, winter. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, coincided neatly with snowpocalypse here in North Carolina, <laughs> but. <laughs> yes. Cool. Oh yeah, it's a, there was a slight chance that we were going to get iced in once again. I was like, no, we cannot miss this stream. We're going to make this work. So yeah. we made it. Yeah, Shelly just gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> Sorry again, we had to cancel on Tuesday anyway. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, with that too, um, one of the things we were talking about, it not just the submission process is something that can get you an Unreal grant, right? There, there may be something that we come across on one of our channels, something like using our you know, official Unreal Dev hashtag on Twitter to help your project get yeah. you know, visibility to us, or things that are posted on the forums that we find, or f on YouTube, or, or NDDB, yeah, and things yeah. like that. Or as we're like evaluating pull requests, for example, right? Yeah, like exactly. All kinds of things. Uh, any, anything is game, basically. Yeah, yeah th there can be a moment where we're like, there, there it is. Let's. This guy is incredible. This project is just, just badass. We wanna, we wanna hop into this. So, cool. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Well, are there any other like high level thoughts you wanna, you wanna convey right now, or should we jump into questions? Oh well, that's the big picture. Okay. I guess the other major element of this is that there are really no strings attached to the grant. Right. Um, the grants are awarded to cool projects, and the funds can be used however uh, the team wants. Um, of course, we y these are super diligent, uh, enthusiastic developers <laughs> of stuff. Um, we expect everybody will use them uh, to further their project goals, but there's not going to be any sort of heavyweight project uh, accountability or contract or yeah, yeah. Uh, rights uh, given back to Epic. It's, uh, it's a way of rewarding uh, cool stuff and helping developers uh, get to the next stage uh, where uh, some level of funding is actually required. Yeah, totally. I think that's best. Probably <coughs> spend it more wisely than I did spend my my college scholarships on new TVs and computers, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you needed them though uh, yeah, to play video games. Yeah, yeah. actually, that your mowing the lawn story reminded me. It made me feel guilty because I mowed a lot of lawns so that I could go buy video games, not to start my own business. That's, that's exactly <laughs> where I was. <laughs> I figured you could probably relate to me on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, why don't we get some of these questions? Uh, yeah, and if you guys have any on the stream too, feel free to drop them in the yep. chat. We'll try to get to as many as we can. Um, so just you know, let us have them. Cool. Um, oh, let's talk about the time frame. You know, what what kind of time frame for the first grants do you expect? Well, uh, we're uh, getting. We've already received about sixty submissions. Yep. Um, yeah. The uh, group is going to get together to review nominations and uh, select okay. grant recipients. I we should uh, have the first uh, uh, several grants uh, announced and awarded uh, around the GDC time frame. Yeah, yeah. Sounds in, good. Uh, two weeks. Awesome. We're yeah. going to GDC, right? Just oh shit! Did oh I forgot yeah. about that. I heard that's coming <laughs> up. Yeah, it's like it's like in a couple weeks. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes we all will be there, in San Francisco. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Maybe we can find some cool thing to show. Actually, real yeah. quick, <laughs> uh, in this note, just real quick question. Um, Tim, is it really true that you started up at games from mowing lawns? And I think, yeah, <laughs> that is so awesome to me. Yes, <laughs> it is true. And that's the whole point of Unreal uh, Grants yeah. is to uh, make it possible to receive funding without mowing lawns. Uh, because <laughs> your time is probably better spent uh, developing yes. games we, we and cool stuff. We will save you that extra step. Okay, that's awesome. cool. cool. Um, is there any, next question here, is there any deadline for the, the first grants or for the first five million? 
Um, no, we don't really know what the time frame is. Uh, it will probably take more than a year uh, to find uh, worthy recipients for the $5 million we've set aside. Um, we don't know how, uh, how long it will take exactly, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll be uh, announcing uh, the recipients as they come out, and we'll, we'll have to watch. Yeah, we'll play it by ear. Um, I saw a note here, too, on like sort of the quality of the prototypes and whatnot. Um, I think it is <coughs> it, it's obviously a fuzzy line of how far along your project needs to be for us to really evaluate it. I think you know what we were looking for is stuff that inspires us or shows some some mark of genius or something like that, right? Um, but clearly, if your game's about to ship, then maybe you know that's not you've gone a little further down the path. Um, so you know. Something workable, playable, something we can see and, and really get a sense of, of makes sense if it's a game or an interactive experience. Um, I don't know, is there any other sort of rule of thumb that we're looking for right now? Yeah, once you get a prototype to the point where it shows a lot of promise, um, that would be the optimal time to submit. Um, if you spend so much time on polish, um, uh, then you've probably missed the opportunity yeah. to really benefit uh, from using the grant funds. Um, if you submit it too early when it's still rough, if the, yep. you know, the core idea makes the the project unique doesn't show through, then uh, it's going to be hard for uh, yeah. for the group reviewing the nominations to uh, to see the intent and the potential in it. Yeah, and and that kind of dovetails into another question of can people reapply? Um, I personally, I think that's fair game. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't see there's any. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, if if, uh, if you spam us, we might not look favorably on that. But you but know, at, th at the <laughs> same time, too, though, there was something I read like this is not a competition. No, right? exactly. So you're not getting. There's more not than one, one winner. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't put <laughs> two tickets into the raffle if you sub if you you know <laughs> submit again later. Yeah. Th there may be times where you you have a project that that you know you think is quite there, but you know like if you spend a little bit more time with it. Um, you know, you'll you'll be able to really, really, really tell what it is. We'll, it will see it and note that that is what the game is. Uh, and so, I would almost encourage to to take that extra step, but don't be afraid to submit too early. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Um, I saw a question fly by too on. Uh, I guess you guys working on a project with hardware and UE4. Uh, sounds cool uh, to me. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's it's <laughs> UE4 related, right? Like that's the. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. As long as it's cool and interesting, you're good to go. <laughs> Cool. Uh, oh, and then as far as regional, like European developers, you touched on this, like there's no restriction. Anybody anywhere can apply for this, right? That's right. There's no limitation on geography. Um, if cool. uh, funds can be transported into your country, <laughs> through, preferably through the banking system, yes. but uh, if Legal a llama <laughs> or a camel is <laughs> required, that might work too. Um, <laughs> then uh, you can receive a non-real grant wherever you are. Okay. And there's a lot of exciting stuff happening around the world. Um, oh we're yeah. seeing a lot of Unreal Engine adoption now and really new markets, uh, a lot of... Uh, Development in Brazil and Argentina and yeah. uh, Thailand and elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. No, I know several of our guys made a couple trips down to South America and then in Australia, New Zealand this year, and we're just overwhelmed by the number of like developers and the enthusiasm there. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And a lot of those are, are starting to bubble up onto our other channels and stuff too, and it's really cool. It's like, whoa, this is out <laughs> of you know Spain or out uh, of out of Brazil, and like we're like, how do we not? know about this, you know. <coughs> about time for us to... It's uh, really cool to, to start seeing some of this stuff come, come to light. We're going to get some more language tutors in the building here. <laughs> <so> <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Cool. Uh, yeah, so with that too, um, wait, hey, when do we, what is the duration of this program? Like, wh what, are you, what are you feeling on how long this is actually going to go um, for the grants program? Like, we, we're chatting about, you know, at least a year, right? Like, we're going to be moving past that. Yeah, I imagine it's a it's a big fund, um, so it will take a lot of time. We'll be doing out the grant awards um, as uh, where the nominations are all in. Um, I don't really know the time frame other than it'll probably take more than a year. Um, yeah. And you know, Epic has always had uh, various programs of this sort. You know, in the early days of Unreal, we had the Make Something Unreal contest, yeah. um, which uh, this is quite different because we. There's not this one deadline where everything needs to be submitted and everything's yeah. reviewed and winners are picked. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, just a yeah. rolling program. As uh, cool nominations come in, um, grants will be awarded. Yeah, it's yeah. so more more organic than structured, right? Yeah, yeah very organic. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, you want to scroll down. We uh, have some more questions here, yeah? Yeah, I just, uh, I'm just going to reiterate on this one. There was a question about uh, any kind of projects, not just games. Yep. So. If uh, you're making a, you know, something in architectural visualization or a music plugin or, or a new, new tool enhancement for UE4, yeah. like any, anything could be eligible. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so cool. let me get this. Cool. Doing the whole DJ multiple computer things over here. All right. <laughs> Chance is a professional, by the way. If you guys didn't know. Real, I'm close. I'm getting there. Him and Twitch streams. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right. Um, does the money anyone gets have to be paid back later? Uh, no, there are yeah. no strings attached to the grant funds. Yeah. Um, we reward the grants based on <coughs> the promise we see in work you've already accomplished, um, and so you're free to use the grant funds <coughs> however you want. Of yeah. course, we'd encourage you to use them to uh, continue uh, your things. awesome work <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> with the engine. Yeah, I, I, I love these. I, it always feels good like you're doing something right when you get a bunch of questions of disbelief. Like, seriously, <laughs> there's got to be some, <laughs> some hook here, right? It's like, no, no, no. If you're yeah. doing awesome stuff, we want to help you out. Yeah, you what's know? the catch? <laughs> Make awesome stuff, yeah. right? That's, That's like really all we ask. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With cool. UE4. Yeah, there's our string, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. All right, so let's see what we got here. Cool. Oh, my gosh, I keep grabbing the wrong mouse. If we promise to name our firstborns Tim, will that help our chances? I don't know. Firstborns, <laughs> like... <laughs> All of um, us. Maybe. Well, no, but if you <laughs> named your firstborn Unreal, then that might oh, be related to the real engine. Tattoos, we accept tattoos as well. <laughs> I don't think that. <laughs> Did actually grow up to be an engineer, so it's like a yep. thing. All yeah, right, cool. no engineer preference. We have cool <laughs> artists, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. You want me to scroll on down from here? Uh, yeah, we got this one already. Cool. Yeah. Let's do down here. There's quite a few of them in here. Yeah, we've covered a few of these here. Yeah. Time frame are good. Yeah. <coughs> uh, so the the highlighting. Um, so there's a question here of uh, oh yes. w w how will we talk about where grants are awarded? Um, I think you know we'd love to highlight them on Twitch streams as we award them, probably oh blog posts and whatnot. Um, and then you know in those cases too, if developers are interested in additional co-marketing stuff like that, we're always happy to have conversations, right? Yeah, definitely. We 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 like to make sure that I mean. We like to make sure that we can get all eyes and, and, and boost y'all signal as much as we can. And so this is something this was that's something that would go alongside this, right? Like we want to make sure we can highlight the yep. incredible stuff we do. Like you've seen the community spotlight every week and we're we're getting more and more and more involved in, in promotion of these kind of projects. So yeah, you can you bet that's yep. definitely gonna be something on the radar. Oh yeah. And over the years we've helped to uh, connect a lot of developers up with uh, other resources, yeah. uh, either contract partners or publishers, um, you know, to make introductions to help get people get to that next stage too. Yeah, um, yeah. And that's un certainly something we'll continue doing. Yeah, definitely. Formally and informally. Cool. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, any restrictions on submissions as far as if you're a registered business or anything like that? Any legal things as far as entity or? Oh, good question. No, there are no restrictions. Um, you can enter, uh, uh, make a submission as a, as an individual or yeah. as a company. Um, yeah, yeah. Or as a group. Uh, we're completely flexible on that. Yeah, it's, it's really about the work, the content, right? Um, I think it'd be interesting to talk a little bit about expectations of feedback on submissions. Mm, okay. Um, I can tell already there's a lot of interest, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. So I, I can guarantee you that we're, we're definitely going to look at every submission. We're going to evaluate it. Yeah. Um, and, and we'll have some sort of a response, right, no matter what. Um, I don't know. We're Like you said, this is going to be a bit of organic for us as first. We're going to kind of go through the process, maybe get some guidelines out there, too, to help the it go a little smoother. Really? Or I thought you were just saying I had to. Or, or had to we could just everybody. make it all Chance's responsibility. Yeah. And <laughs> just add me on Skype. We'll and, yeah, we'll out. give his personal <laughs> address out so you can hunt him down. Yeah. Just send, uh, send me your submissions in the mail by yeah. Passmark. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. we'll figure it uh, out as we go. Uh, every submission will be considered and reviewed yeah. um, individually, and uh, you know, the consideration will be made based on merit. Um, not everybody's going to win, but everybody has the opportunity and the chance. Yep, totally. Cool. cool. So let's see. Um, yeah, there's a few of those feedback questions. Yeah. I'm just going to bump. All right, cool. Check those out. Uh, uh, yeah. So on this one here, do the accepted submissions get any other form of support or you know access to private support or anything like that? N no, that's not really in the scope of what we're talking about right now. Yeah, not generally, yeah. but uh, if there are areas where we can help, we can have the conversation. Yeah, I mean, on that note, we're always eager for feedback just in, in our existing support channels. I know we've done some things well and we're still learning areas we need to improve. Mm -hmm. um, so we should, we should always be having those conversations for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, first time frame, got that. Good. Oh, uh, this is an interesting one. Is there any way other people can contribute to the fund? That's <laughs> interesting. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, we hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Uh, we'll chat about it. I it's a cool know. idea. Yeah, yeah, if somebody's interested, I guess there's a reach out and let's talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, we <laughs> uh, well, well <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They got some, some cash, right? Make some phone calls. Yeah. No big deal. All right, let's see. Cool. <laughs> Uh, a lot of these are very duplicate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so hmm. let's see. Oh, yeah. 
Well, single single developer teams will be treated any differently or the same as AAA teams. Like we're yeah, we're not no prejudice here, right? Like yeah. it's all it's all the same to us. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll judge each project by uh, its unique values. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's you know there might be grants awarded to teams holding AAA games, um, but that's not going to detract from the opportunity a single one-person yep. uh, mobile game developer has uh, to win a grant, as long as they are doing something you know unique and interesting on their yeah. own. Totally agreed. Awesome. Yes, uh, just to reiterate, because we will look at every submission, don't you think guys, you might get overwhelmed pretty fast? I think we will get overwhelmed yes. pretty fast. We're I hear there are 60 <laughs> yeah. so far today. Yes. Probably um, another 20 since we've been talking yep. here. <laughs> yeah, yes. I just, uh, yeah, yes. <laughs> 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 so we will, we will definitely work through that and figure out the best possible process cool. so it's a good experience, both cool. submitting, getting feedback, um, you know, anything like that. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be in the absolute best com uh, communication we can with you guys. Cool. For sure. So I, I have a different question for you, Tim, aside from the dev grants. Uh, when you were writing that first line of code for Unreal Engine, A, did you call it Unreal at the time? Did you know it was going to be this massive thing that, what, has spanned, what, 20 years almost now? Oh, wow. You know, that was actually a huge uh, debate, how what we should name the engine. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a lot of history to go into, but uh, it, it took about a gosh, six months to really come to agreement on what the uh, thing would be called. <laughs> I, can and, uh, I can just picture Mark Rain super excited. It's not real, it's unreal, right? <laughs> yes. You can almost hear him say that. <laughs> <laughs> but see, we've been developing the game Unreal for about nine months before we realized we actually had an engine. Right. Um, you know, Microprose called us up and said they wanted to license our engine. We're like, engine? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we have, we have that, but it's very expensive. <laughs> and so we were uh, figuring that out on the fly, and that actually provided a... Uh, Really, some of the essential funding for the early development of Unreal, which uh, crazy. Uh, yeah. we were a really small, lean company at that point. Um, mm -hmm. Very much the sort of uh, you know, studio that a lot of the viewers are, are okay. participating in. So now. it was you and Mark mowing lawns at that point. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, I was, I was mowing lawns. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's funny. I, I remember when I, I first joined, I think, God, the company maybe was like the tenth of the size that it is now, right? In that respect, it's that was a long time ago. It's, how many games later and people and yeah. Oh yeah. When we shipped to the engine. Yeah, <laughs> when we shipped Unreal, the team was eighteen people. It's like, oh my god, our company's <laughs> huge. <laughs> Mind blowing, yes. Yeah, I think it was eighteen people in where Ray and I work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, um, this is a question about multiple submissions. So one person submit more than one project. Hey, you got multiple awesome. If you're that yeah. awesome, we yeah. would love to talk Bring to it. you. Bring <laughs> it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> love that. Uh, doesn't matter if my company's a nonprofit. Nope. Don't That's fine. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, actually, I think there have been some charitable uh, development efforts using our engine, which promote different causes. Like, hey, make a game yeah. that promotes uh, nature conservation. Sure. Um, we'd be happy to contribute to that. Which is actually super awesome that that oh, really? happens. Yeah. I hadn't heard of that one. That sounds cool. Oh, I, don't, I haven't heard of the project, but it's super awesome. Okay. Somebody's doing it, right? <laughs> that's that's really really fun. Cool. All right. Let's see. Do, do, do. I think we're getting kind of close here. All right, we're definitely good there. I'm going to roll back up and see if we missed anything at the top. Okay, cool. Well, and, you know, even if we don't get your question today, I mean, I'm sure we'll discover more mm -hmm. as we go yeah. along. Um, we'll be updating and, and talking about it in all the Twitch channels and all that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, I can uh, let you know that I'm putting a Unreal Dev grants in our announcement releases. There'll be a forum post on it, so we can continue a lot of this discussion there if there's That's anything cool. that comes up questions or concerns, that kind of stuff. We, we can continue the conversation, you know, throughout the the entire extent of the program, yeah. so. Oh, yeah. Well, I see a question about uh, what if my project is unannounced and secret, uh, can I still apply for a grant? Um, yeah. And yeah, I, we yeah. would be open to the possibility of uh, grants uh, being awarded um, mm -hmm. for cool secret projects um, and wouldn't have to uh, publicize the recipient's details at all if yeah. uh, that were a consideration. Yeah, totally. You know, yeah. a lot of uh, companies start out in stealth mode because they have something that's super innovative and they want to keep it uh, quiet until they launch. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's totally. good. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I think it's it's at the developer's discretion whether or not they want us to talk about yeah. it or not, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with that, there was a question about these things being public, like the what the submissions are coming out on the list anywhere, and you no, know, anything you send in to us is going to stay stay internal. We won't share any of your work yeah. or other stuff uh, without contacting you. Uh, let's say if you wouldn't, if you were awarded a grant, and we want to put you on, you know, that page and spotlight you. I think by that point, yeah. you know, we would be having that that, that dialogue with yeah. you for sure. Yeah. Right. 
All right, cool. Okay, I think that's kind of it on all the, the bigger stuff that's rolled through. So, uh, um, Tim, do you have any other thoughts or? No, that's a, that covers it, uh, but we're going to cool. hang out and continue to answer questions in the forums. All right. Okay. Yeah, sounds great. All right, well, thanks for joining us today. Yep. Yep. Thanks, guys, uh, for, for hopping on the chat and, and hanging out. We're going to hop into the news and community spotlight that we normally have every week. And Ray and I are going to talk some 4.7 and GDC. All right. Thanks a lot, Tim. Thank you. All right, so where are we going now? All <laughs> right, so let's see. Where Should we, we just are. jump in about 4.7 or? Uh, yeah, well, let's. Let me see what I got. I'm just going <laughs> to scroll through this page until I find my actual note notes. Again, Chance is a true Twitch professional, uh, guys. I found them. I found them. Okay. I found them. We're ready to go. We're all good. Ray, I feel like we're like on opposite sides of the world here. I know. There's an <laughs> awkward amount of the couch <laughs> distance between us now. Hey, Joe, can, Joe, do you have a laptop you can just sit in the middle? No? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> right. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, real quick, um, the news. Yay. Here we are. Uh, there's no Marketplace update this week due yep. to some maintenance that happened yesterday, and uh, a lot of people are heads down for GDC. Uh, I think some of us are going. <laughs> yes. Yes, Epic will be at GDC. Okay, great. All right. <laughs> confirmed, good. double, yeah. quadruple confirmed, confirmed at this point. Okay, perfect. But, and but uh, on Marketplace, oh. I did want to, so, uh, yes. yeah, so no, no updates this week, but we will be resuming normal operations. Yeah. Um, couple things I want to talk about. We've got some cool stuff in GDC week. Hopefully, you know, that will be exciting and valuable for developers. Um, and then we've gotten some feedback, I know, in the forums of, of things around, like, uh, some collision issues with some of the content yeah. packs and stuff like that. Um, you guys, you know, feedback, anytime we read it, it's a little unpleasant of, like, oh, God, we messed up. Um, but I want you guys to know, like, we obviously, we understood we messed up in those situations. We're working really hard to fix it. Um, We've we've got a, go a lot going on right now, um, but we've got people on that stuff right away. So please keep that feedback coming. You know, yep. it is one of our top goals to make sure everything coming out of that marketplace is is immediately usable in the way that you would expect um, and valuable to folks. Yeah, um, absolutely. That uh, the feedback for Epic Forum is really a place that that we like a lot of a lot of. Epic employees uh, live in there just to try to find out what people think about uh, the project they're working on or yeah. the the part of the engine that you know we've released. How we can improve those things. Yeah. So that stuff is super valuable to us, and especially with marketplace. Like you know, a lot of us have mentioned we're still not where we want to be with it, oh, right? Yeah. And so if we can get a better idea of of the things that are super important <laughs> to you guys, where where we're not serving y'all well. Uh, we want to make sure we can prioritize those things. Yeah. Uh, make sure they're into our pipeline and our roadmap, uh, so we can we can do right by everyone. Yeah, I want to say especially that the feedback for Epic subform that is the first place I go every time I get a minute yeah. to check out our forum. So oh, yeah. please be posting. You know, and it, always appreciate the good with the bad. You know, or the sorry the the good with the constructive. <laughs> so there's a monkey in the middle of our chairs now. Oh, have we fixed this? Yeah, it's well because we're very back. serious here at the UE stream. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, as, as long as as long as the monkey doesn't have to talk to me, then we're good. Okay. Wait, Are you wait. calling me a monkey now? No, I'm offended. No, no, no I'm saying no. <laughs> the okay, monkey, the, I'm still mad at the monkey for last time we had a chat, right? So let's oh, he's back. Well, oh, no, no, he's, no he's gone. Yeah, there's that's a the pretty good-looking monkey, though. I gotta say, it's not too bad. It's a big monkey. Um, <laughs> All right. Anyway, all so right, the so other serious thing I wanted to mention with the marketplace. <laughs> um, so we we have our long list of features. I know I would just tell you guys everything, but Chance keeps slowing me down here. Um, That's what I'm here for. We have what you said last stream about we can't say all the things because we have to have content for the other streams. Yeah, but then so we keep I'm making new things. Okay. <laughs> all right. You got me there. All right. So you know we've we obviously we're working furiously on features like. Um, search and, and better categorization of content and, and just general quality of life, I would say. Um, we're also having a lot of discussions around the whole library uh, function of the launcher and how that works, especially with the marketplace content and your own projects. And so uh, we'd love some feedback and discussions on that. Um, one thing that we're hoping to roll out next week, and it's going to be, uh, it's, a, it's an early version, so it's not like totally robust yet, um, but it'll be uh, the web version of our marketplace. That was just asked in the chat. So Oh, man, <laughs> perfect timing. Yeah. Um, so it's it's going to be you know obviously same content and all that but the cool thing is with the web version it was much easier for us to go ahead and hook up search so that'll be a first um, and we're also looking at uh, being able to provide feedback on assets as well which is another important thing um, and an ongoing conversation of exactly how those systems work for uh, developers and, and sellers so yeah and we know people have been talking about a lot of those things search sort 
uh, rating of some sort Feedback, as well. Stars, and yeah, those yeah. have been like super important to us too. And it's yep. like, yeah, we, we've wanted these for quite some time. And so we're, you know, this is kind of a, a good first step yep. you know, towards a lot of those things. Yeah. So knock on couch, that stuff's coming next week. But there's you know, a table behind you. Oh, there's wood back there. Okay. Um, <laughs> hopefully coming <laughs> next week, but you know how it is. You Completely know, sometimes ignored. things don't totally work the first time, but we fix it. Cool. <laughs> so yeah, right. that's, that's pretty much what we got on Marketplace. Um, uh, let's, yeah, Shelly, can you hop over to the monitors? Uh-oh. Da, da, da. I've actually got old news. Not this page. Hang on. He's got a new fancy page. I've got, uh, fancy might be a word. Uh, 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 Did I? No, no I didn't. there it is. There you go. Okay. Yeah, All right. Maybe so you should have changed browsers. We're going to skip over this. Right. <coughs> there we go. Uh, so, reminder, uh, 4.7 preview, 8 is available. Yeah, so 8 went out on Tuesday. Yep. Um, I think we actually we hit RC0 for our final release this week, and then we broke it. I know we we're at least on RC1, maybe on RC2. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we had RC0 for about, it it lived for good. about like 20 hours? No, it was good. Most RC0s, th we call them RC LOL, yeah. like for <laughs> those in the know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, uh, so still hopeful for early next week to get our stable release out there. Um, but by all means, if you got a project in flight, that please download Preview 8. Try to break it in some way um, and let us know in the feedback for them. A reminder on that, though, not for production until so it's released. So please make a copy of your project or a new for project seven, yeah, yes. for any of the preview builds, right? Um, because these are not expected to be fully, fully stable. Um, but really, really appreciate you guys getting in there and, and testing it, especially all the new, the blueprintable components and all the new uh, workflow, the world centric stuff that we put in there. Yep. Um, please, please help us make it stable. Yeah, and with that too, just a reminder that Stephen Ellis or the Epic Stephen on voice. Twitter. The Voice. I just call him The Voice. The Voice. Yeah. <laughs> Someday we'll get Stephen on the stream and you will listen to his amazing voice. I don't, yeah, yeah. It's so awesome. Anyway, Stephen's got this wonderful thread from Preview 4 7 that's mm -hmm. got all the known issues that are currently there mm -hmm. and things we've actually found and, and, and fixed in each preview week over week. Um, so a lot of this stuff was found by you guys too that we've we've been able to to roll into the engine. So so it's super awesome. I mean this 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 is the first build we did this process with and it's seemingly going really well. So yeah. we're hopefully going to be able to continue this through four eight four nine yeah, four yeah. ten and no, it's, it's, zero it's, now. Right. It's part of our release process now. We it's we track cool. yeah internal engine QA and all the bugs they find. They match it with uh, Stephen and the team like Alexander there. You know the guys looking for the community reported issues. We make sure we've got. Uh, local repros, if we fixed them, if yeah. no repro, we're reaching back out. All that good stuff is happening. So, cool. um, yeah, it's been super valuable. 4.7 uh, P8. Yeah, and then Get and it. then we're knee deep in making the final final uh, release notes. So yeah, so with that though, we're probably not going to have a P9. We're going to have a release. I huh? sure hope so. Yeah, um, it would be. It would be strange to have a P9. So the next yeah. release should be our stable release. So. And that means that we will probably have a stream next week about it. Yeah, okay. who would be who would be a good person to come talk about that? So yeah, every once in a while we have this other. That's Cana he's Canadian, right? That yeah, allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly, uh, I don't know. we haven't seen birth certificates, so yeah, I don't know. He's super nice and smiley. <laughs> so uh, Mike Fricker is going to be on the stream with us next week to talk about four seven. So yep. super awesome. Don't forget to tune in on that. Don't freak out when Fricker's here. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we need some catch line for him. That's that's <laughs> actually a pretty decent one. All right, so with that, uh, let's see. I've got oh. Oh, no, uh, sorry, question in flight. What happens after f UE 4.9? It's 4 e It would be 4.10. No, no, 0.10,000. Oh, we're just jumping all the yeah, way Yeah, let's just go for it. Okay. Why stop? W or we could, <laughs> we could do like the, like the, the yeah. Half-Life thing uh, and just release f like UE 4.91. We already released 4.3. If oh you're yeah. doing the Half-Life thing, yeah. Yeah, 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 but we're <laughs> yeah okay, got it. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, back to the news. Hey, VFX. VFX, right. So Tim Ellick is awesome. Uh, if you don't know Tim Ellick, he is um, Mr. Ellick on Twitter. He has been putting together over the last, I guess, six months, since launch, actually, um, a series of lessons on, on VFX tutorials. I've been using these myself. They're pretty awesome. Yeah, they're I pretty great. So. So his eight went up this week. We've been kind of behind on getting these out to you. He's writing the next ones. It's going to continue for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can head to our blog. I think it's the second blog up right now. Uh, he's also got a post on the forums about it. Yeah. Uh, he's taking questions and helping people mm -hmm. out. And I've got him and Bill Cladis and oh, snap. Uh, Hansi doing a VFX stream for us in the future. So That will be a powerhouse. Yeah, you're going to see some really, really, really cool stuff. Yeah. It's possibly after GDC, but. I, I would say Cascade 
is the number number two, you know, num tool in the engine for lowly programmers such as myself to make beautiful things, or at least you know, not terribly programmer art looking yeah. things. Because anybody, you know, within five minutes can figure out, here's a basic particle material, right? And then stick that in Cascade, tweak a bunch of magic numbers, yeah. and cool stuff happens. And then you feel like you're the greatest thing that's ever lived. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, the thing I find with Cascade at my current skill level is I can never make what I want, but I inadvertently always make something cool. And so yeah. I just change my design on the fly. Yeah, like, yeah. oh, I didn't know I was making an explosion, but let's, let's roll with it. I just it. realized camera two is awesome with Ray sitting on the edge by himself. Yeah, right. Super rad. Oh, is this all about <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank God. Awesome. Okay, cool. <coughs> Next thing we got on the news, we oh. had uh, the Game Jam <coughs> last week. We kicked that off. Love is a battlefield. These two men here, they're, uh, they're loving, ex expressing loving their love via love battle. Yeah, via violence. So, uh, what kind we of had message are we sending here? We had, <laughs> <laughs> we had 38 submissions, uh, so we're working through those now. Some really hilarious, really fun games some, in here. Some creativity was yeah. displayed. Yeah. yeah, my favorite is um, Fifty Shades of Hey. <laughs> Which is Especially I when you say it that way, yes. Uh, which I turned into Fifty Shades of Ray, which is kind of awesome too. So uh, that's uh, that's okay. a thing now. Can, no, I, can well I groan on camera? Is that okay? It's all right. <laughs> it's fine. You can deep sigh. I do that occasionally. Okay. Uh, so we will be showing off the winners of these as well as a highlight video of all the submissions uh, next week. So look out for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with that, we've got the Get Your Design on the official Unreal Engine Game Jam winner t-shirt. Contest that's still going. This is going to go for a few that's, more weeks. That's like a Dr. Seuss level subject line there, man. That's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? <laughs> for whatever reason, it's like the cr I got to burn this book, but my daughter found Fox in the Socks or something. Oh, yeah. And she just insists I read that. Oh, yeah. God. Terrible. Well, it's kind of like that, that game of like cut the rope. It kinda just it. It tells you what to do, mm -hmm. right? So this is it. Yeah, yeah. Get okay. your design on it, right? Okay. Let's do uh, it. So we've, we've got a couple oh, submissions through nice. here. Yeah, yeah uh, just a quick yeah. sneak peek. There's a uh, Aller, of course, but it did yeah. a whole thing of plaid in there because there's a there's an ongoing plaid joke. If you guys plaid and program on yet. programmer yeah. plaid, no one's wearing plaid or jackets. Oh, well, and we're adult. popping collars today now. Are we though? Yeah. Mine's still down. No, your your outer collar. Is you've it? got three collars, by the way, for the record. Oh this right. is, I think this is a local Twitch <laughs> record for us. Yeah, it probably is. But hey, you just yeah, <laughs> Shelly's in. Great, All awesome. Right. So cool. <laughs> anyway, t-shirt design contest. Uh, you know, we're running it through March first. We got a few designs in there already. So if you if you've got some skills to do some quick designs for this, please do throw them up in there, uh, and, and we'll make it work. Uh, yeah, Thomas Ingham, chance <laughs> chance dad jokes rule. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> And let's see, what else do we got on the news? Yes. Oh, yeah, one more thing before we hop into Community Spotlight. So I'm going to be bringing new uh, information from LearnTab, learning resources to you guys every week now, too. <laughs> wait, wait, uh, that, that question. Did we get any X-rated submissions on the Game Jam? Give them uh, the topic. There, yeah, Love is a Battlefield. Uh, and w this is the first one. We got one that wasn't really X-rated. There's like a zombie but it was thing. thought provoking. And yeah, and then the way to describe yeah, it. And then there's <laughs> there's a questionable <laughs> one. There's a couple of questionable ones. Questionable. But uh okay. well, you'll find out next week. Yes. Or you can go and hop in the thread and download them and see for yourself. Um All right. right. So learning resources updates. Uh Lauren has sent this over to me and she says, Guess what? Remember that water pack? It is available. Yep. So Alan Willard came on here and showed how how awesome his water pack is, and he's built a series of tutorials you can actually watch now on how he built them, how you can modify the ones he's got. And, and yeah, we've got a stream archive there so yep. people can watch it. Yeah, yeah and then he's got the actual, uh, the, the water planes itself. You can download his project. Use these in your, use these in your games yourself. They're free to use, free to ship with. Yep. Um, all that stuff. Yeah, we had them on the stream not long ago. You can head to our YouTube and actually watch the <coughs> the full rollout and explanation of it too. So yeah, I, and on that note too, we we're we're working on some more iterations with the uh, the Learn tab and, and launcher. I mean, we're always updating the launcher, right? Um, but especially with the Learn tab, you know, we that's one where we feel very deeply. Like we feel we want to make sure as we build all these things that we think are helpful that you guys are able to find them, you know, through all the various means. So yeah. if at ever you have some feedback on things that are useful or things that are hard to find, please let us know. Yeah, totally. I love nothing more than telling people, please go fix that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. Yes. All right. All right. Um, real quick, Shelly. Um, so at GDC, one more piece of news before, before we hop into the community spotlight. Mm -hmm. At GDC, we've been working with the DirectX team. Uh, I was on a call with them earlier this week, and we're, we're doing this really cool thing with them. Oh, right. That yeah, they've yeah. got two pods inside their, their booth at um, GDC. That's the, that's the name of it. It's coming up. Game Developer Conference. Game Developers, is it GDC? Or 
anyway, so they've got two two DirectX booths or uh, or pods that are running the engine uh, version four point six. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be out at the show, um, bring by your a thumb drive with your four point six project project, plug it up in there, and uh, we'll get you running on DX twelve right then and there. And we're we're going to be doing some contests with that too for participants and uh, and possibly some cool giveaways stuff. and stuff. So we'll have a lot more information on that that next week. But uh, it's since GDC is coming in, you know, kind of hot, yep. uh, we wanted to go ahead and bring that up to you now. If you're going to be at the show. Bring your project on a thumb drive. Heck, do it anyway, just so you can show us on the floor, because we really want to see that. One thing we didn't mention mm -hmm. about the grants thing, uh, if uh -oh. you're doing something awesome, and you're going to be at GEC, bring it to us. We're going to, I mean, like two or three of us are going to be at the show, right? Two or three, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, so we're going to be at GEC. Bring your project by us. Uh, show it to us. We want to see it. Yeah. All right. So back if, to... If you can find our office now. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, my computer is lost yes. and everything is wrong. And <coughs> they're calling you out on using, overusing the phrase coming in hot. Uh, Just saying. Hey, thanks. <laughs> 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 All right, so <laughs> what we got here on little, B Spotlight? A little, little critique. All right, on to the cool uh, things. Enough of this right. boring talking. So you may have seen this little beautiful game roll across uh, over the last couple weeks. It's uh, yeah, Shape, Shape of, of the, the world. world. So let's hop into the video. It's very cool. Like I want. Oh, I mean, I really wish I could hear sound. I know, but I can't hear it. <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. <laughs> Shelly is always helpful. All right, so this is just a beautiful, uh, thought-provoking, um, like I guess first-person experience. It's an exploration thing where, as you move, the world grows and becomes around you. Mm -hmm. Um. It's made by an effects artist uh, from Black Dusk, actually. It's very, very right, cool. In Vancouver. It doesn't look quite as Canadian as, as I would say. But <laughs> does, does Canadian have a look? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm saying like the environments. Well, I guess uh, I oh, you're saying it doesn't look like Canada. I get you. Yeah, yeah. You weren't being stereotypical. No, not at all. <laughs> but no, apparently he did get a lot of the, uh, the inspiration for this by just spending a lot of time outdoors. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's a, it's, he refers to it as a walking simulator, right? Yeah. I, I, I've got to say, every time I've ever walked, it didn't quite look like this. But I don't think you're doing maybe, it right. Yeah, then. maybe I'm not doing it right. That's, yeah. that's my takeaway. Because mine today. are close to this. The, 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 <laughs> the realism isn't quite there yet. <laughs> I would say, if giant freaking trees sprung up, that might scare the crap out of me. Yeah. I may not walk very far. So this is built by Stu Maxwell uh, out of Vancouver. Yep. And let's see if I can hop out of this now. He's got a really great post on our forums that kind of outlines the the project right, some really cool, cool screens you can save as your desktop it's very very um, cool yeah so you can go in there and say hi to him as well as he's got a full um, blog that's got more information about the project uh, you know you can find out ways to contact him he may have some where is it nope just to press go I was gonna say might have a Kickstarter or something but newsletter things like that it's already been picked up by Rock Paper Shotgun and some other things I've seen this all over the web the guy's on Twitter. He's super active there. Uh, anyway, so check it out. It's supposed to launch spring 2016, so it's going to grow a lot from this, but uh, <laughs> really cool stuff. Oh, the the growing game is going to grow, is it? I, I was hoping <laughs> you would pick up on that subtle pun. <laughs> I thought we were past puns. All well, right. We're never going to be past puns. I keep, my, I keep my pun screen in my pocket just in case. <laughs> Jeez. Can we get to the next showcase, please? <laughs> <laughs> Quick. And next. All right. So another one out of Future Games, which is the... College that Shord works at, actually out in uh, da, 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 Stockholm. Shord? Shord. Shord? Four inches. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm just making sure I'm pronouncing it right. Yeah, Shord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw this one. It's very cool. So, yeah, this is suit. And you're this dude or lady in a suit. Yeah, you're a robot thing. And there's really cool sounds happening right now that we can't hear, right? But great. Again, Shelly, ever helpful. <laughs> anyway, ever so helpful. this is built by a team of seven. In just four weeks, um, yeah, it's, it's got these really cool spatial puzzles. It's it's yeah, it's like a, a, a sort of a jump puzzler type. Yeah, thing. it reminded me a lot of uh, Mirror's Edge. Actually, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Th th I describe this as Mirror's Edge meets Portal. Yeah, right? oh, I, I love this panning shot. It's like, yeah, I love to see these kind of scenes. You're like, huh? I wonder what it's like for the people that live there. But then you realize it's a video game. Oh gosh, pun foo. <laughs> <laughs> that just happened. Oh, anyway, no. so jump, stick, jump. I can see my arms, my legs. Always important in the first person. Yeah. Stick. And yeah, so you're kind of like a little frog man too. <laughs> okay, which what, is kind of rad. Because he jumps? Is that no? Because he sticks things over there. Uh, oh, I see. Blah. 
Sorry, who, who's the Marvel superhero? That Toad. Toad. Uh, super villain. Come on now. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Sean Palomino will be very upset with I, you. <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not with it when it comes to comics quite it's yet. It's okay. Anyway, so I'm really, I'm really excited about this. I was talking to Short about it earlier. So the, the, cool. the college is really cool. They put out a lot of really cool stuff. So yeah, yeah. Prop said it was, uh, yeah, four weeks, seven students. Uh, awesome. Really, really, really awesome stuff built in the engine. Cool. And numero trace, we've got, this is Blue Eye, B-L-U-I, by Aaron Shea. So oh yeah, I, met, I met Aaron at the Boston Dev Tour that we Ooh. did last November. And he was talking about the project, and he had a couple of quick, you know, prototypes of what he was building. But uh, essentially, it's a way to, th the way I look at it is you can outsource your UI to the web. Mm -hmm. um, it works with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So I'm going to, I think, have this video open already here. Yeah, yes. it's, a, it's a pretty cool workflow, right? You just uh, hook, do all the legwork to hook it up to HTML page, right? Yeah. So like, this, this right here, this is, all a, this is all a website that he's bringing in, or mm -hmm. a, a a web widget yeah. that he's built inside the game. It's so cool. the little hamburger menu and the dropout stuff. So he's got a uh, he's got an HTML file here in a second. He'll open, yeah, and he'll add a new, just a new piece in the list right there. Yeah, yeah. I could I can definitely see this as especially for rapid prototyping. Yeah. Um, if you're at all proficient with HTML5 editing, right? Well, yeah, I, I I can see this for use in like non-game application space, right? Where you can you can yeah. drive everything from the web, but use some of the advanced engine features yeah. inside, like a phone or something. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, and there's a ton of web content out there. This makes a nice, neat way to get that in the engine right away, right? Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> It's very cool. Yeah. So the idea too is he can he can take things from the JavaScript and use them inside his code mm -hmm. or inside his game, mm -hmm. and he can send back into the yeah, website yeah. itself too. So. I don't know. My that's mind. A, that's a very extreme way to get JavaScript into UA4. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's just it's from the web. Though. I mean, so it's all yeah. you know, I want to pass stuff without yeah, having yeah. to do I, I, I REST wanna services. I want to say I saw a, a code project out there of actually getting uh, the JavaScript interpreter plugged into our our interop layer for UB4. Oh wow! So uh, obviously HTML5 is a great option because you get a lot more out of that package. But if you just want to use JavaScript for game code, for example, that may be an option someday. Yeah. So yeah, he's got some, you know, got a really great quick start wiki in here, a place you can get it. It's actually downloadable for free right now. Cool. It's blu it's blueprint driven. So you you set up your session here in blueprints. I mean, he goes through it quick. And here's how you do it. You type in the address of what you're trying to access cool. and then there you go. Awesome. So yeah, thanks a lot Aaron. Really cool stuff. Uh, go check it out. Give him some feedback too. You know, you can you can do pull requests into it. You can help him work out with it. Oh, go yeah, fork it and make your own version. That's right. Dang it, cuz you can. Yeah. <laughs> Fork that repo. <laughs> All right. So <coughs> let's see what we got here. All right, what other? What oh are my gosh! I keep things. grabbing the wrong mouse for this thing. Uh oh! Awesome. <laughs> Ray and Chance have quite a few questions. Uh oh. This is so good. Um, are we are we jumping straight into questions? Yeah, I guess we could. Unless do anything else. GDC we've got. Forty C GDC. Four seven, seven GDC. <laughs> yeah, GDC. We're gonna be there. Marketplace. Web. We're good. Cool. All awesome. right, questions. Let's do it. Yeah, so doo -doo -doo -doo, ETA on C++ code stuff for Marketplace. Uh, so, yeah, we talked about seeing what it would take to get that into 4.7. Uh, unfortunately, it, it didn't make the cut, So, um, but I'm, I'm going to work with the team. I was just talking to Fricker about this this morning, actually. Of, uh, let's make sure we get that in for 4.8 time frame. Of course, when's 4.8 coming out? Don't know yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> but sometime in the future. Yeah. And. Uh, Okay. I was gonna say it's definitely been a hot item around the yeah. office, right? Like a lot of us are talking about, like it's like this is a need. It's not like a well, nice to have. Right yeah, there. I mean, we we see tons and tons of of, of cool projects out there in libraries and, and plugins, or people that want to be plugins to the engine right now, um, and we're unfortunately in the state where we have to do everything manually, and it's not great. Mm -hmm. Um, or just pull request it in, right? Or yeah. Take a pull request in. Um, which has its own um, challenges and trade offs. So, um, yeah, we we want to do this both because hey, there's a lot of things out there, and it actually ends up making less work for us as well, which means we can better support everything going on there. Um, so that's that's definitely on the list for 4.8, I would say. So cool. cool. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. 
any plans for updated, newer updated C++ tutorials? Yep. Yes, uh, Jeff Wilson has been working on a lot of those kind of things right now. He's got a few threads in the forums talking to specific people that are that are taking a look at that. We've got some other stuff on the way in the future. Did um, we talk about like the, the doc navigation stuff as well that we're working on? Oh yeah, yeah, I don't know that it's been okay. mentioned yet, so. Um, yeah, so you know, we're always iterating on the doc stuff. One of the things that came up was navigation and, and finding a different, better way. Um, so I'm not sure exactly when it's ready to go, but it should be soon now. Um, putting a whole side nav on there so it's easier to see uh, not only all the places you can go, but to see where you are in the documentation and, and related topics easier. Um, so that should be coming soon. In addition to, I think I almost call it an entire revamp of our C++ uh, uh, gameplay documentation. Um, yeah. Cool. Any other questions on doc stuff? That's what I'm trying to look at right now and see if there's anything else that we can do. <coughs> Not that I see on docs yet, so uh, let's see. Oh, there's an interesting question here about, uh, do we plan on integrating Cortana-related uh, function into UE4 post Windows 10 launch? Um, that's one, we don't have any concrete plans right now. Um, obviously, yeah. Microsoft's a great partner. We've been working with them on the DirectX 12 and some of the Windows 10 stuff. Hopefully yeah. more to talk about that soon. I I would expect Cortana probably what I'd love to see is somebody in the community kind of take the lead Just on there and, and see see what's possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely yeah, interested to see. I, mean, I don't even see what that looks like as far as integration, right? Like. Yeah, I mean, at the basis, uh, I understand it, it gives you at least uh, a good uh, voice to text uh, translation layer, right? Which could do all kinds of cool things, being able yeah. to, to you like talk to your AI characters in your game, for example. Xbox right? on. Yes, Xbox <laughs> off. <laughs> Does it work with PlayStation? That's the, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Um, will you show great stuff at GDC? Yes. yes. <laughs> Something with DX12? <laughs> yes. Yes, there will be DX12 content at GDC. Um, uh, any, th any updates on Epic to HoloLens integration? Epic to HoloLens Or sorry, you Unreal Engine. HoloLens. Unreal Engine. Oh, HoloLens. Uh, we don't have any, yeah, no, no firm plans. I think my understanding is those guys are a bit overwhelmed from their announce and just kind of dealing with all the, the excitement around it. Um, definitely would love to, to talk and see um, what's possible there. So, I don't gotcha. know. Hopefully one of the many conversations we can have around GDC timeframe. Um, but again, I think that would be awesome to see some, some developers and community kind of lead the charge there and then we can partner up to, to make that happen. Cool. Can you get the GDC demo project now? Well, A, it, is it just one? Is it 10? Maybe it's 100, I don't know. Maybe we are just we're turning GDC into an entire virtual experience. Yeah, there and we so go. So no one has to actually go there. So the, the sarcastic response is that the, the more honest answer is no. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there well, any secret awesome feature of 4.7 we didn't reveal yet? No, and actually the way we structured this is we can't have any secrets. You guys see everything we do it when we do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. In, including breaking the build, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> all all of the, the the stripes and scars, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Um, especially the preview builds now. Like, yeah. you know, it, it's it's less, th it's less just the GitHub people that are seeing all the latest, right? Yeah. We have the preview build that's got okay. Here it is. Yeah, it's yeah. the take it figure, you know, um, give it some time. Yeah, there's there's definitely some exciting stuff in four seven. I think some stuff too. Um, maybe once we get some more time to to show you some of the content that better demonstrates those features, so you guys can get a sense, you know. Uh, Daniel Wright, for example, he's continued working on the whole distance field AO solution and oh is yeah. now hype filled uh, dynamic GI based solution, like all kinds of cool stuff there. The the grass renderer, that was that was a big addition that yeah. came in. Um, and then hopefully hopefully you guys notice the workflow changes, especially on that poor blueprint editor. <laughs> yeah. I felt like it's changed at least three or four times. So yeah, and there's also a couple questions on GL next. Yeah, we, we've got yeah. we've got a panel on GL. We're on that panel. Yeah, with, uh, we've, we've yeah we've been participating with the whole Kronos initiative for quite some time now. So we will we cool. will be there alongside Valve and other industry partners, right? Cool. Uh, Gear VR in 4.7, that's like go, right? Like that. Yeah, so I, there is a version, that's, uh, my understanding is it's maybe a little still rough around the edges, but it is possible to get it up and running. Um, yeah, and we're, we're hopeful to have that all part of 4.7. There's a lot of more technical questions in here too that Ray and I are going to not answer and not lie to you all that are probably best for whenever Fricker's here. I will totally lie. No. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> best for when Fricker's here next week. Yeah. So there's some of these, we'll, we'll, we'll probably roll some of these over <laughs> into into that Q&A as well. Yeah. Um, so if we don't get to those today, sorry about that, but um, we can try, but it's probably best to wait on Mike. Yep. 
Um, let's see. Can Chance and Ray talk more about their GDC challenge? Will it be streamed and how will it work? I sure hope so. That is, that is a lot of that's TBA right now, but we're, we're, yeah, we're still that. bouncing ideas on format. Um, yeah. yeah, I think uh, we'd love to live stream it because then it keeps us honest. No cheating, right? <laughs> well, he's going to show up with like his build, I'm sure. Yeah, it's got I mean, I'm going to have a, a crash and then like have to sub in and all of a sudden, oh, look, my game is awesome you now. Know, you know how <laughs> Iron Man has like eight suits? And You're going to have like eight jetpacks? <laughs> <They're>, like, <laughs> I promise the, the to Mark make a one, game. The Mark II, the Mark III. Limited jetpacks in my game dev, I promise. Cool. Because that would just be unfair. Let's see. <laughs> Rolling up, rolling up. ET and Linux launcher. It's probably still a ways out. Oh, launch Linux in the launcher? Um, I think, well, one of the other things you want to do in the 4.8 time frame is allow selective platform downloads. Um, a, just because our build size is getting quite large now, and so giving people the option to only download the bits that they uh, want to target intentionally. Um, and I believe Linux would fall under once we have that capability. Um, but really, we should probably invite uh, Dimitri back some point. Stream. Hey, maybe we can have one tomorrow. We, we should have a, yeah, Dimitri. We, we got to need a tagline for it, like the Dimitri Linux <laughs> line. I the don't Dimitri know. Dimitri dump, where he just comes the, in. And the the Dimitri bomb. Yeah. The, the nuclear option. Um, you know. the, uh, yeah. can, I, we, can we be slightly I'll inappropriate? I will. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Wow. I will be, uh, I'll, I'll tool on that one. No, uh, yeah, he. You know, I like it because he like kind of hops in, gives us a quick update, and then disappears. Like on oh, uh, weekend update, yeah, you know, there's yeah, always like exactly. that, that quick guest. Yeah, uh, like Opera Man. Anyway. Oh, sorry. There is a question uh, on the why is the blueprint details pane on the right side when creating variables on the left? Yes, totally not great UX. We will change it. Sorry. Blueprint details. Pane so it's really awkward right now. You go, you're like, I want to add a new variable, Blah. and then all the things to actually like set up that variable are on the other oh, side oh, of the they're screen. Just like. Uh, hey, by the way, Chance hasn't been using the new preview apparently. No, nope, I've uh, been avoiding four seven until <sighs> until you want you want to have the fresh because, experience because uh, yeah, I want to have the fresh. It's this is the same reason I don't play demos. I don't watch trailers. Oh. Like I want to walk in with at the same time. I'm not supposed to be using it for production, so... Well, you, it's yeah. not like you're going to go ship a game in the last month anyways, right? Come on. Know. Okay, jeez. You don't know. All right, more questions. You don't know me. Uh, let's see. I had one over here, but I have Yeah, I like it. the D Dimitri bomb. L let's go with that. <laughs> oh, there's a question on Sequencer in Niagara. We don't have much to talk about right now. I mean, development yep. is still in flight, um, but I, I would expect that's something we happily talk more about yep. um, post-GDC. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Big things on our on our want list, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, we know on yours too. Yeah. Uh, oh, funding question: Is funding for a generic UE4 development blog a thing? I think it's if it's a UE4 blog that's like doing really awesome stuff, you know, like it's yeah, it's part it's of that ecosystem, right? Like it's if it's doing some some unique or high value thing that or is inspiring yeah. thing, yeah. S significant contribution to yep. Unreal at that point, doing something awesome that has yeah, to yeah. be with that ecosystem. I think that that's. That's where the that's yep. where the line would be. So there was a question: Is are we going to stream all our GDC sessions and, and archive them? Like heck yes, we're going to make those available. Yeah, it's only a, so only so many people can come to GDC, right? Yeah. So. Well, we're all going to be there virtually anyway, right? But oh, yeah. no, uh, yeah. So anybody that's going to be um, not at the show, but you want to check out what we got, we'll we'll have all of that sitting yeah. your way as well. So yeah, cool. Let's see. Awesome. God, I think that's all like the stuff that we've got for that, w that you and I can answer. There's a lot of more technical stuff that we'll, we'll bring Mike's way next week. Okay. Uh, any closing thoughts? Uh, yep. Yeah, so reiterate, 4.7, uh, hopefully stable release next week. So look forward to that, and we'll get the full release notes out and everybody know what's going on. Um, Web Marketplace also hopefully coming. Make sure that's that's there. And then, yeah, Unreal Dev Grants, I know we got even more questions. I think w what we'll do is we'll just gather all those up and, yep. and get a, an FAQ updated. Pretty much, yeah, that's, that's kind of the next step on this is to get that FAQ, yep. right? So uh, I'll have a, a thread up that's in announcements and releases. Didn't really have time to get that up today yep. since we did the huge announce this morning. Yep. So it'll be something that we do post-stream. And then, um, yeah, there we'll be taking more questions, answering them, rolling them up into a better FAQ. Yeah, yeah, and if... Submit submit your stuff today if you can. No no rush. Otherwise, we're going to be doing this for a while. And uh, yeah, hope to have the first selections announced live at GDC. Can we? Can we live stream the? We'll live stream it with giant cardboard checks. <laughs> I have to talk with Sarnowski and see if we can <laughs> actually get those checks made. <laughs> Ellen will kill you. Okay. What's that? The prize patrol. The prize patrol. We have. Can a I be Ed McMahon? Is that my thing? Yeah, you kind of maybe. Yeah. All right. We're going to do the prize patrol. I have to get darker <laughs> or lighter hair. Lighter hair. Okay. So. All right.
All right. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Last question for oh. you, Chance. Will you be at GDC? Yes. Uh, last question. Will I be at GDC? Yeah, I think so. We'll, um, we will be there. I don't know. I'm still waiting on confirmation if I'm going to go. <laughs> but yeah, the rest of you Did guys. we buy your plane tickets yet? No, I, you're making me walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long one. If he gets there, geez. No. Actually, more importantly, Dana will be at GDC. Yeah, Dana, Dana will be at GDC in the chat. And, and I thought we were going to bring her back on a live stream someday, too. What happened to that? Well... She's so busy yeah, working. She's sh It's one of the two things. She's either too cool for us or too busy for us. No, I, I think, honestly, I think she's too afraid. She's too nervous. I think we got to challenge her to get up here again. <laughs> she's got maybe <laughs> up maybe. there. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's, I don't think it's that. It's just like, yeah, sh maybe we've set the bar. Oh, yeah, that's true. The, yeah, the, we, we are pretty professional these days. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting in the swing of, of being pros, All right. at least. All right. All right. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. It's yeah, been yeah. Awesome. So we'll see you next week yeah. on Tuesday. We've got a behavior tree support stream followed immediately by the blueprint networking quick draw game yep. that you can shoot hats off. Yeah, Alan, Alan Noon's new thing. That's yeah. awesome. It looks really, really cool. Yeah. Um, it was that's one we had to cancel on on Tuesday due to ice apocalypse and all that. Snow stuff. So yeah, there was oh, a lot of ice. Dana, yeah. I've seen like 300 emails. We all been gabbing. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. that's what the world needs, Dana. More emails. Thanks yes. for that. Send her those emails. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Okay. Um, and then next week we'll have Mike on here, and then the week after that we'll be at GDC. Heck yeah. So yeah, cool. All right. Stay See awesome, you guys. You guys. Thanks.